So in my Discord server, which by the way, you should totally go and check out, we have a little bit of a cult growing and they've challenged me to use only the car 98k. And yes, I did just restart my game because I was in the wrong spawn room, but we're on Vrucht. This should be interesting. I do not like this gun at all. It's arguably the hardest and worst gun to use in all of COD Zombies. But you know, I'm not one to back down from a challenge. Like it's at least a one shot headshot on round one, silver lining and all. Also, we're playing Vrucht. We've got to do the, uh, the woo, spooky, whoa. But yeah, we can do this. This is this is fine. The reason I chose Verrucked was I thought, what map's going to be the hardest to do on all of World of War? And which map is my personal favorite? I did a poll recently and people were saying like, oh, Darice was like the choice and stuff. But I personally like Verrucked more than the other maps just because if I'm going to go back to it in 2023, I'm going to play a map that's like unique. And Verrucked like on World of War is the only one that's really worth going back to World of War to play because of like the super sprinters and just the vibe is pretty cool. So cool we have Jug in the spawn but we can't get it yet obviously we need power we are just oh this is gonna be difficult because we even get spawned on the wrong side like i'd love to go that side instead but oh hi hello we're trying to sneak up on me are we oh i see you in the distance at least unlike nectar and totem the uh the spawns aren't 20 billion years i don't really know what the strat's gonna be though because what am i supposed to do am i gonna go like open this door and sort of camp on the other side because that doesn't seem too ideal ah screw it why not like where else am i gonna go you know i'd love to just buy that mp40 but maybe we camp in this corner here we get a long line of sight hello zombo okay it's still a one-shot headshot thank the lord dude all right we can we can kill you oh don't don't come through no please Keep rebuilding the barriers. Gotta reload. It doesn't have very good hip fire, that's for sure. Oh god, they're getting through. I'm dead instantly. I forgot how absolutely unforgiving the goddamn world that war game is. Little bastards. It's fine. This time we've got it. If we could just get like a couple headshots, literally one more, and then we can move to the next room. Where are we at? There we go. Boom. Easy peasy and just get me out of here dude so yeah i've got to keep on top of this barrier is the trouble i was getting into you oh my god that was almost close i, I can't let them get anywhere near me you oh my god it's not even a this is why the car sucks man it's not even a one shot anymore unless you get a headshot which is just uh not the easiest with a gun it's like a single fire sniper almost oh hi box i'd love to get you but you know about that all right i guess we'll have to try and snipe them from a distance why is he standing still i hear them like breaking down the barriers underneath me that's creepy oh there we are hello i miss when they did these in uh cod zombies like the wall barriers instead of the actual just like wooden barriers so you have to actually rebuild the wall which is a bit strange, don't get me wrong, but aesthetically it's cool, you know. Oh, hi. Trying to sneak up on me, are we? Little bastards. You know, there are some hard challenges in COD Zombies. There's like the reverse rainbow perk challenge. You've got like octagonal ascension. And then you've got the car 98k only. That's, that's rough. God, just die, dude. Three shots. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, please, please, please. Oh my god, dude. I'm trying to save this insta-kill as long as possible, but it's just not happening. I've got to, <laughs> got to get it now. Oh boy. If I could somehow, like, oh, I'm pretty sure I've got two more doors to go though. 750 and then there's one there, which is going to be another like thousand. I need like two more thousand points. And maybe I'd be able to get like Jug. There's no way, dude. Oh, hi. Just, you managed to get here somehow. I'm going to try and shoot them while they go up the stairs, I think. Oh, this is nightmare fuel, dude. If you want a difficult challenge, I highly suggest you try this out for yourself. If you enjoy my torture, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. Oh, God, please. Okay, we're good. This is just, this is not good. I've, I've got low ammo. I've got no ammo. Please don't double slap me. Okay, we're good. Welp, this is going to be interesting because now we're stuck down here. Maybe it's good. Maybe if, if they all come from this direction, it might actually be better in a really weird way. Oh, we got a clat. That's probably rare for this gun. Come on, we got this. Reload faster, God damn it! Oh, shit. This is actually terrifying. We've got a max. Okay, gimme. All right, we're good. And you? And is that the round? Oh, God. Oh, I almost got double slapped. It is not, in fact, the round. That is the round. Oh, God. I mean, is there any point in me opening the door? I mean, I could turn power on, but after this round or during this round at some point, we can actually get Jug. That's like the only way we can possibly do decently on this challenge. <laughs> oh, game, why you do this to me? How did you get here so fast, dude? What? 
Bro, we got some lightning speed zombies and the ones that just sneak up on me like this dude. A nuke. Wait, that's actually massive. Screw it. Let's just get it. Open this door. Immediately go through here. I need 70 points. Oh, you're serious. It's fine. I can do this. I'll, I'll hold off for like just one more zombie kill pretty much. Here we go. Here we go. Headshot. Okay, we got it. Now we just need to not die. I mean, nukes pretty much always end the round on World of War, right? Oh God, please don't die. <gasps> oh. Oh my god, my god, my god, my god, my god. Holy shit. That was too close, man. Just, just give me a jug. I, uh, I can't hold off any longer. I <laughs> need it. Oh my god, because Quick Revive doesn't work on solo. I mean, it's nice if his door's open now, I guess, but... It's totally useless. But I can actually withstand... I, can, I can't... I can not get double stabbed. Stabbed? Slapped? I can't even speak. I'm that, like, stressed out right now. Oh, a double. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. I wish I had that like five rounds ago, but... Oh, God, please. Can we just die? <gasps> he was inside my body. What was that? That was almost the stupidest death imaginable. I mean, like, now what do we do? I guess we buy ammo. What is the point in buying double tap, actually? I just realized. All it does is increase the fire rate, but doesn't that do nothing for like semi-auto guns because double tap 1.0 if you're unfamiliar doesn't actually do much it just increases your fire rate oh boy well this is going to be interesting especially since now if i camp here they'll actually be able to um get to me <gasps> i know let's go and open up the training spot this room right here this is apparently like the best training spot for verrucked i don't know necessarily if that's true but from personal experience it seems decent oh god then this one zombie just ugh, i would love to buy the tommy gun oh it's so sad playing and not being able to Another double. Okay. No scope. As soon as the super sprinters start coming, I'm actually going to shit my pants. Oh, God. Please don't die. I mean, at least on World of War, you can kind of train and manipulate the zombies a bit easier. Which is nice. Don't get me wrong. I was saying that. Ooh, okay, we're fine. Yeah, we're just... We're so fast. So, yeah, this is a bit easier. We can actually... Except for these bloody sprinters... <gasps> Oh, come on. Like, why did that one zombie get me stuck, man? You know what? I thought, screw it. We'll try Doris. Maybe somehow this map will be better. I mean, we do have a Pack-A-Punch machine. Um, We have a bit more space to train, almost. So in theory, it'll be better. But then again, this gun is just not good. Otherwise, I was bragging about like, oh, training is so easy on World of War. I mean, I flipping died. Of course I did. Feels so nice going back to World of War Doris, though. Like, just the aesthetic and everything is so cool. Even though I personally, I think that Verrucked is my favorite map on World of War. You can't deny this is like, like an all-time classic. I mean, look at the moon. You got the the little the thing, the sign, of course. If you remember about the uh, the World at War the Reese trailer, bit of a throwback. The first like Easter egg ever with the uh, the Samantha says thing, or the hide and seek or whatever. I always mix up the names of them. Samantha says is the one on moon, right? Yeah, I, brain. It feels so weird playing a map and just not having to worry about like buying guns. I mean, I guess that's kind of what Cold War Zombies is, isn't it? But you spawn in with a gun that's actually quite good, which is, you know, rare compared to one of a game like this. At least there's no super sprinters on this map, I suppose. But I was going to do it exclusively on Verrucked, but I thought we'll give it a try on another map just because I didn't want to end the video immediately. You know, I, I'm not like a scrub and the variety is nice. We've got a nuke and we have an insta kill. This is not bad at all, actually. That the last zombie. Yup, there we go. And another 400 points. So let's go and open this door. Now we can get the power on. I just realized, how in the hell are we going to deal with the dogs? At least Verruck didn't have dogs. Oh god, dude. There is actually no way. Oh, I've really screwed myself now, haven't I? It's kind of cool. When you bang into the barrels, they actually make noises. That level of immersion is quite nice. Oh, God. Zombies, please. I've, I've not got much ammo left, have I? Oh, boy. Ooh. Uh, we're fine. Okay, double points, though. If I could... Ugh, I want to grab it. Give me. Okay, there we go. We could just not die. Here we go. Get the reload in, please. 
Here's where an insta-kill would be extremely welcome, actually. Okay, that actually, that genuinely did help us quite a lot, because we can now, we could buy speed cola, but I want to get jug first, obviously. I'm not an imbecile, but we're going to buy ammo first, because we've got dogs next round. So let's go to the, uh, the death alley, as it's nicknamed. Get the old juggernog. Okay, I mean, we're making progress. <laughs> it is so chaotic, man. This is, this is ridiculous. Well, here we go. I think you're the last one. If I can... Ugh, the aim, dude. And never mind, it wasn't even the last one. You're the last... Oh, you're actually sprinting. Interesting. Oh, we don't have dogs. Oh, ah, okay. I'm absolutely not complaining because it would... Like, World of War dogs, you cannot sleep on them. They are ridiculous ridiculously strong so if we could like we're not gonna get it this round obviously please wh why do they do this thing where they just go inside you bro like relax well there's the max ammo i was gonna say if we could get like a double points again there's no <laughs> scratch that never mind i'm a prophet apparently I've done that in so many videos, actually, and it's kind of insane, where I just say something and it sort of happens. It's not very, uh, well, it's a bit uncanny, I guess is the, uh, the phrase. So if we could just not die. How, where was the triple slap from? I have a double point, so I can't even get any points because it's so, this gun's just so bad. Oh my god. I only got like a thousand from that. It's just not even killing. It's so bad. Makes round five feel like round 50. I'll run out of ammo before. Like, I'll literally have to buy ammo every round, more or less, because of just how bad it is. Like, I think the starting pistol would be better at this point. I wonder how good it is pack-a-punched, because I don't have a feeling that it's going to be that good, but we'll see. Oh, we got another drop. What's this? An insta. I mean, honestly, I'm saving that for the dogs, if we can actually just end the round quicker. Here we go. Oh, thank God. I'm going to have to get it now, though. I'm buying ammo. I'm not even taking the risk. Here we go. World of War dogs. Okay. Thank you, insta-kill, for existing. Okay, this is actually making it so much easier. If it wasn't for this insta, we'd be we'd be very screwed right now. I think you're the last one, right? Oh god, come on. Come on. You can do it. This is what I mean. Three or four shots and still no kill? Oh, please don't kill me. Another shot, no death. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. I'm tempted to save up and get Pap. We'd have to go through one more round of this. Uh, maybe we get Speed Cola. I mean, we have one life anyway. Why not, dude? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Here we go. When they sprint like they like, what? get out of me. Why are you in me? Very sus sentence, but like, bro, relax a little bit. Okay, how's the reload? Oh, it's like instant. That's, that's so much better. That was like the main issue I was having, actually, is just running out of ammo and having to reload. And getting what was that one zombie doing getting caught off guard and stuff oh boy all right well we're slowly but surely getting through the round i mean it's gonna take us ages we're on round seven we actually beat our previous record oh god why do they do this i'm trying to get headshots because it's like the only reliable way to kill them i'm trying to hip fire them but it's just not working out very well oh please Double? <gasps> okay. And an insta-kill? Oh my god, wait, this is our ticket to victory. There's only one zombie left. Okay, I kind of want to keep it then. Oh, we're not going to be able to do it, are we? I mean, we can do most of it. All right, teleporter number one. Ooh, this room looks so cool, actually. I swear the zombies, they sprint faster on World of War, even just the regular ones, man. We're going to need another, like, 2,000 points to be able to pack, actually. Maybe we could get a free max. Oh, we ended the round. Typical. Oh, we got a carpenter as well. Oh, isn't that just brilliant? Whatever, it's fine. I mean... On ironically, the um, catwalk is going to be so bad because, I mean, we'll just get overwhelmed. We can't use a car 98k on the catwalk. So having to open this door to get Pack-a-Punch is ooh, a bit risky, but it's a necessary evil, I suppose. Come on, car, you can do it. I think it's stopped being a one-shot headshot now, which is just brilliant. Oh, God. Ow, whoa, 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 whoa. Move, move. Okay, we're good. What are they doing? They're all huddled in the corner now. What was that? They're so glitchy, but it actually just like screws you over without you realizing. I mean, it's kind of fun though at the same time with just how chaotic it actually is. I suppose we could try and pack a punch mid round. I don't want to though. Too risky, man. World's longest round ever. Gotta try not to run into the barrels because literally every time you die on this map, more or less, is when you're training and you get stuck on the barrels. Actually like <laughs> a heart attack waiting to happen, man. Ooh, what's that? A nuke? I mean, it's not bad, but I actually don't want to get it because ending a round would not be good right now. 
Last bullet. Okay, good. We actually managed to kill him. Okay, la uh, second teleporter. Yeah, we should have enough then because this next door we've got to open is going to be like probably 1200 or something. Come on, are we going to be able to make this? I try and run all the way. I can't do it. I have to open this door. We're actually going to be short, aren't we? Oh, this is so tragic. The double points though. Okay, we managed to get one kill. I think that should be enough. This is the last zombie, so... Oh, <gasps> we have exactly enough. Oh my god, that's perfect. God, move, man. Jesus. Bro, I swear the timer goes down faster on World of War, or am I just tripping out? But here we go. Oh, just give me the pack a punch. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, game. The Armageddon. Cool name. And it's still going to be bad. Oh, and of course, I get a max ammo now. I have a feeling this gun's not going to do much. But yep, now we're um a little bit screwed. Because what do we do now? We could train in this room, maybe? But then the zombies can, like, drop from the ceiling and stuff. Or it just gets a bit awkward. We could continue to train here, maybe. Oh, flip. I think we do a long train, actually. Like, pull them all all the way up here. Yeah, I think this is the play, actually. Oh, God, yeah. See what I mean? They drop down from the ceiling. Right, is that all of them? Uh, it's most of them. So, how is the gun? It's a, it's a one-shot headshot again. That's nice. Actually, um, able to do something now. Could definitely be better, but whatever. <gasps> is it a one-shot body shot as well? I think it might be. Oh, Papa Bless, dude. That is, that is exactly what we needed right now. Oh, even the hip fire is decent. Oh, and there we go. That's one zombie left. See how fast that round was compared to the bloody previous one? Only issue is if we get out of ammo now, cost of ammo is going to be 4,500. And um, let's just say that's not exactly uh, in my price range. Oh, dogs. Here we go. Get double tap. I mean, I doubt it'll even do anything. Come on, doggos. Where you at? Oh, what's up, creepy boy? Oh, shit. It doesn't even one shot them. Are you see? I'm actually dead. There's no way. We can't. No. How are you not dead? This is a pack of punched gun. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Please, I beg. Please, please, please. Just die! Just die! Oh my god, there we go. Maybe if it's a headshot. I can't even headshot them. Just fire faster. I'm dead. No. Please! This is the most stressful thing in the world. Oh, now I've got two on me. Oh no, now it's over. Now I'm screwed. Oh my god, no. Come on. <laughs> no, there's no fucking way, dude. Oh, they, they are chaotic as shit, man. Oh my god, okay, we killed one. Are you the last one, please? No, you're not. There's one more. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Yes, we get it. Come on, last shot. Oh. Oh my god. Why does the Car 98K Packet Punched have the same amount of ammo? What is that? Oh, it makes me all blue. That's quite cool. That is, there is just... There is no way. Next dog round, we're dead. You know, zombies are one thing. They're already tough. But they're just little meat shields, you know? Like, now we can actually almost one-shot them. Actually, yeah. I mean, this it feels so much better now. We've just got Pap. It's actually almost fun to use. Arguably... Hello. Jesus. We even got an insta-kill. Oh... Not that I actually needed it, but um, definitely not going to say no. Maybe get some collateral kills. There we go. Pew. You know how fast this round's flying by then? And there we go. That's round 12. There's literally no point in buying Quick Revive other than to look at it on the bottom left because it doesn't do anything on solo for uh, World of War. And I kind of just want to save the points for the, uh, the ammo if we need to buy it. Hello. You spawned quick. My quick scoping's getting a little bit better. I mean, it's nice to train accuracy actually with this gun. Oh, yes. Yeah, see, the collateral potential is pretty decent. Could could be better, but... Oh, God, please. It's just those one zombies that just, like, they slap you, and then it slows you down, and then they sort of manage to morph into your body. Like, bro. There's no way we're going to make it to the round, but if we get rounds where zombies and dogs are spawning, there's, we just... No. <gasps> well, that was quick. <laughs> My god. I mean, we made it to round 12. To be completely honest, like, that's a lot higher than I was expecting.
I don't know why I'm even doing this to myself. I could have ended the video there, but no, for some reason, I want to do this on Shino Numa. <laughs> and also, um, what's it called? Nakdurin Toten. Wait a minute. Is the Arasaka the Car 98K? I'm guessing it's the exact same. I mean, technically, it's not the Car 98K, but this would still be classed as the worst gun on this map, so I'm going to include it anyway. And it's not like we're going to make it to a very high round. I mean, it's literally the exact same gun, just uh, slightly reskinned. Even cost the same amount of points, you know? That's how bad it is. Every wall weapon in COD Zombies history, like in the starting room, pretty much is 500 points. But the Car 98K and apparently the Arasaka are 200. Like, if you need proof that it's that bad, I mean, it's less than half the price of every other starting weapon in every other Zombies game, so... God, is it already not a one shot? I just shot with. Okay, it is. Thank God. I was about to get worried. Oh, never mind. That was a hit marker. Oh boy. I mean, honestly, I think the second best version of Shino Noma is probably the World of War one. My favorite's actually the Vanguard one, just because, like, there's so much more to it. It's too bare bones for me on regular Shino Numa, but it is still a very cool map, you know? It's one of the founding fathers of, of COD Zombies, obviously. Okay, honestly, maybe this Arasaka is better? I mean, maybe I'm tripping out. It could just be the fact that it's got a different, like, animation and stuff, because uh, I don't think it's actually better. I mean, you know, it's like, it really does feel the exact same as the Car 98K. Sometimes it will one-shot headshot, sometimes it will just, like, the recoil will lower so that it hits you in the chest instead, which is just not ideal. Still, though, I mean, it's not, I mean, it is pretty bad. It's, it's awful. There's no way we're making it to round five, because I just realized dogs are on this map, aren't they? This was the first map that had dogs, I believe. God, we're already struggling, and I'm already out of ammo, actually. We could uh, have mercy on our souls. Oh, my God. Oh! Okay, we didn't die there. I just realized ammo was the other way. Oh no, I can make it. Ooh, oh no. Uh, okay, dude, just get me stuck. And then there was Nactar and Toten. Oh boy. Well, we've got the Car 98K though. I love how the gun doesn't even properly fit the entire, like, the, the layout thing, the, the drawing. It's like there's a massive gap here, dude. I do love Nact. Like, it, it's a very aesthetically cool map. It's just the fact that the spawns are so slow. The giant moon's really cool though. Like, it doesn't seem very realistic, but who's here for realism, man? We're playing against bloody, like, zombies, you know? Dude, is this like the fastest round one ever? Oh my god, that's the fastest round one I've ever had on Nectar and Totem. And that was like a solid minute still. It's still really cool though, because the whole barrel mechanic, like the way they all work, is it supposed to be, like, Nact was meant to originally be a tower defense type mode almost, which is so strange to think about. But yeah, they were originally going to take zombies in the direction of tower defense. And instead, of course, we got round based. But yeah, you can kind of just tell with, like, the way the barrels work, like the explosions, you're supposed to buckle down and defend the area and then shoot them when the zombies build up, like, as a, a tactic almost. But instead, we obviously developed our own tactics, like training, where you just run around in circles and get the zombies to follow you. Okay, I mean, you know, one shot headshot. It feels decent on round three, and then every round after it feels awful, so. There was so much fog in the distance, it's actually creepy as hell. I mean, I'm fine with this kind of fog because it doesn't affect the internal map, obviously. There's me debating whether to save the double points. There's no point, man. Yeah, we've, we've got a few zombies anyway. Map's so old that it doesn't even have a, a bloody double points icon. Oh god, my aim. Come on, dude. There we go. Oh, please, Car 98. Please! There we go. Oh, stress, man. Stress. Gotta appreciate the fact that we can actually, uh... Well, the zombies are spawning in a bit faster. Which is always nice, I guess. Hello, I see you just appearing in the distance. Oh boy, this is not good. Open the help door. <laughs> I oh, definitely need the help here. No pun intended, or yes. Oh god, reloading. Didn't even realize I was reloading. Okay, nuke time. The benefit is on Nactar and Toten, Shino Numa, and the Rooked, all the maps have like only 24 zombies maximum per round, but it doesn't matter because when we're using a gun this bad, you know, it's not like I've got a Wonder Waff or a Ray Gun or Flamethrower, hell, even the Tommy Gun, this beauty right here, the best gun in the game, by the way. Oh, hi, there you go. Came out of nowhere. Oh, this gun is awful. 90% of his commentary is just going to be like, Oh, this gun is so bad. Yes, we know, dude. You've said it 50,000 times, but I cannot underestimate it enough. Or understate, I guess is the word. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, we're good. Dude, it's actually so creepy when they're like really dark and you can just see the yellow eyes. 
Oh, hi. Where'd you come from? In the barrier, apparently. Come on, any year now, man. Any year now. No Pack-a-Punch, no perks at all, so... Somehow we made it to a higher round on this than Shinonuma. God knows how that happened. Oh, that collat to finish them off. Let's go. Ammo run real quick. A hundred points for ammo. Like, it's literally pence, dude. All right, let's just screw it. The, the barrel will do more than I can do. Oh, it didn't... Never mind. It didn't even kill them. Come on, dude. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That scared the ever-living hell out of me, man. Still, though, thank you all for so much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen. YouTube says you might like it. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in my next video.